Last summer, we told you about Rosalind's newest sweet spot, Rosalind's Sweets and Treats. But recently, the candy shop has changed ownership, and with an amplified focus on producing unique chocolate creations, Rosalind's Sweet Spot is now the Rosalind Candy Company. Recently, we uh, had an opportunity to acquire the inventory uh, of this candy shop that was here in uh, Rosalind, Washington. And uh, we've lived here for a couple of years. Uh, we've always just absolutely loved this whole area and fell in love with this town and had always been talking about finding some opportunities to become a little bit more involved with the, the overall community and the business community. And my wife had worked uh, here at this establishment uh, for the last year or so, uh, especially during the uh, Sunday market. And she'd always absolutely loved it, especially as she got a little bit further into uh, handcrafting uh, chocolates. Amanda asked me to, the, one of the previous owners asked me to come help out before the market last year. And she'd started with chocolates, doing, you know, handcrafted chocolates. And I started helping her with that and just found out that I really loved it. And the more I found out about it, the more I realized it really is chemistry based, the chocolate and, and working to get the molecules to do what you want them to do. It just really captured my attention and the fun that you can have it. I do have a bit of an artist background, so this kind of started giving me an outlet for that. My wife is, is the one that does all of the, the chocolate work and uh, she's been doing some really, really cool stuff. She's, uh, over the last year, started with uh, the hand rolled uh, and the handcrafted uh, work and now she's starting to get into more of the molded uh, chocolates with like colored cocoa butter and and it's really really cool because she has uh, an artistic background so it really kind of gives her that opportunity to have a really solid creative outlet. Chocolate's very much like wine in that uh, every growing season will vastly and sometimes only subtly affect the flavors of the chocolate you know, even if you're buying from the, the same the same maker that's coming from the same plantation, you know, one season it can be a little fruity, next year it'll be a little bit more spicy. It's just wonderful, the variety that you can get in the chocolates. It's an affordable luxury. You can take the finest bar of chocolate in the world and it may cost you $20, $30, and that may seem really expensive for a bar of chocolate. But then when you look at the cost of, say, the finest cars in the world or the finest diamonds in the world, you know, chocolates within everyone's reach. Mm -hmm.